Welcome to Key Tech. Please describe this channel if you are interested in today's video. According to Russian media reports recently, the mayor of Moscow announced that the local company, Zelenograd Nano Center, has completed the research and development of Russia's first 350 nanometers lithography machine and will soon be put into mass production. Earlier, Russian news headline Zen also published a report titled Russia Will Build EUV Lithography Machines Before China, which stated Russia can skip the low-end DUV lithography machines and directly conquer the most advanced EUV lithography machines. As we all know, Russia is subject to severe U.S. control. Now it has only developed a 350 nanometers lithography machine. Where does it get the confidence to boast? 1. Backed by core technology, it may be able to achieve overtaking. According to public information, China has currently conquered 28 nanometers lithography technology. If it wants to produce chips below 25 nanometers, it must use more sophisticated EVU lithography machines. At present, ESML in the Netherlands is the only company in the world that can produce EUV. As for Russia, it has just conquered the low-end 350 nanometers lithography machine, which is equivalent to China's technical level in the last century. As soon as the news came out, it immediately caused ridicule in the media, causing many people to fall into the misunderstanding that Russia's lithography technology is not good. In fact, EUV lithography machines have three core technologies like source, projection lens, and worktable. Light source, as one of the difficulties, happens to be the field that Russia excels in. In addition to Germany and Japan, the other three international light source giants is Russia's holy light machine. When ASML of the Netherlands studied EUV lithography machines, it used Russian technology. For example, the light source theory of early research came from the Russian Academy of Sciences, and Russia provided it with a large number of optical devices. To this day, ESML still maintains close cooperation with the Institute of Spectroscopy of the Russian Academy of Sciences, ISIN. In terms of EUV light source products, even Intel and TSMC cannot do without Russian cooperation. In addition to the light source, Russia also has a backstage in terms of the work table. Planer in Belarus is the largest semiconductor company in Eastern Europe. Its general manager said, there are only two companies in the world that can produce sensors with a sensitivity of up to 6 to 0.15 nanometers. One is from the United States and the other is us. 2. China has set an example, and overtaking is just around the corner. With core technology in hand, the next step is to overtake. This is not a hypothesis, and China is the best proof. Just like in the semiconductor field, China not only dominates the world in the field of mature chips, but also makes chip giants such as Apple, Tesla, and NVIDIA begin to rely on China's supply chain in reverse. In biotechnology, China has successfully conquered biological fermentation technology, 
and the cost of cell slowing results such as Uvoxin has dropped sharply, breaking the raw material monopoly of Europe and the United States. Previously, this type of cutting-edge material was monopolized by the West. Because it showed the potential to delay cell aging, it was sought after by the rich, and the related raw materials were driven up to sky-high prices. After China successfully conquered the production technology, the price of Uvoxin and other results fell, and it also reached the domestic demand group through platforms such as JD.com. The key to China's ability to overtake is to conquer the core biological production technology. Similarly, Russia can use core light source technology as a breakthrough. If this strength is developed and achieved a gap-leading lead, then the reverse control may be achieved in the future. 3. Learn from each other's strengths and look forward to cooperation. Although Russia has profound technology in the field of light sources, it is also a fact that it imports precision machine tools from China. Russian technology is more at the stage of basic research and theory, and there is still a long way to go in the industrialization of technology. However, Russia's research progress is still worthy of our close attention. A research report shows that Russian researchers prefer to publish papers in domestic journals. Unlike the concept of SCI supremacy in most countries, although most Russian scholars will also write English papers, they often choose to publish them in China and rarely choose international journals. This closed-door behavior has led to the fact that advanced technology from Russia is rarely seen internationally, and even many people's understanding of Russian technology is still stuck in the joke of removing chips from refrigerators and air conditioners. In fact, in addition to its deep research in the core technology of EUV lithography, Russia has also quietly taken the lead in many technologies that China faces bottlenecks, such as laser industry, aerospace, new materials, industrial software, etc. In the past, when most countries were looking for technical partners, they first thought of the United States, Japan, Western Europe, etc., and rarely paid attention to Russia. If China and Russia can seize the opportunity of cooperation and learn from each other's strengths and weaknesses, they may achieve a true strong alliance in the future.